we have to ask the client what their goals are, who the target market is. If it's in a sector we have a lot of experience, then we're already hitting the ground running. If it's a new segment, then we need to learn a little bit more about how it's being displayed, how it ships, how it case packs, palletizes, how it's going to be merchandised. Those are things we take into consideration. Is it an existing dial line that we're working around for a box, or is it a label package, something brand new and needs a custom box, custom dial line created? All of those things are questions we have to ask the client ahead of time to get an idea what the scope of our services. We then do some some research into competition. We don't want to copy somebody, we want to have it positioned against competition. Is it higher price, so we need to have a higher perceived value in the look and the feel? Is it a price advantage? Is it a value, larger size, smaller size? There's a lot of marketing basics that we need to understand to help design effectively for the client. In some cases it's pretty straightforward, in other cases it's much more complex, say in high tech packaging for consumer electronics and things. The process still goes through those questions, initial research, and then all of our work starts by hand. We need to sketch them out, get the basics, get some concepts, initial blocking, small thumbnail concepts and comps are very good at roughing out the high level look. That's the shelf appeal for packaging. Beyond that, then we start to fill in the details. The final style of illustrations, photographs, is there art direction required? Can it be a stock photo? Does it need to be a custom photo? Copywriting, the typography and font styles that we're going to be using. All of those are details that get more and more refined through the process. Usually we'll pitch a couple of concept ideas to a client and then refine from there with a couple rounds of uh, revisions on getting the content approved. In Canada with CFA and, and uh, packaging laws, we will get the English approved first and then send out for translation. We need to allow for the fit for the, the French. It usually takes 25-30% more space. Sometimes you can have a box that flips its French on one side, English on the other. Other times you have a primary display face and both French and English need to be together. So all part of the, the process in getting through that. Is there nutritional information that has to be included with food packaging? Barcode, does the client have a manufacturer's number? You know, getting the barcode generated. There are certain retailers that have pre-approved barcode suppliers and they'll only go through those. We've dealt with a couple of large chains, large box stores where if you don't use the right supplier and the product doesn't scan well, that you can end up with a fine and tens of thousands of dollars and uh, it increases a second or a third notice can be delisting and you can never get back in there. That's extremely costly to a client if they were to be delisted. So those types of things, the details need to be done right. Use the right suppliers and choose the right print partner. We want things produced to a certain level. You can always find something cheaper, but to have something that's going to hold up structurally, is it the right weight of paper? Is it right for the weight of the product inside? the finishing details. Is it just going to be a straight four color or are you adding some special effects? We used a really neat, it was I think one of the Canada's first or world's first Prisma foil. It's a cold foil process done inline on press at Glenmore Printing which was absolutely fantastic. Allowed us to do a lot more with the foil than you can with hot foil. There's some pros and cons there but some of the big things is, is the cold foil is done on a plate as opposed to a die. So $100 versus say $1,200 or $1,600. Second huge advantage is it's done inline on press while you're printing. It isn't printed and then hot foil stamped after creating two machine processes, two make readies, more waste. Yeah, just uh, far more flexibility with the Prisma foil product at Glenmore too. So choosing the right print partner, absolutely important.